first thing you do when you drive in, it's like everywhere you look, there's a big, huge smile and people come running to give you a big hug and tell you how big your kid has gotten and say how glad they are to see you and you feel like you're home. We have a lot of urban paranoia and when we're at camp, we don't have to have that. Um, and fairly quickly, like, yeah, the first time we dropped her off at the tot lot was a little stressful, but everybody is watching everybody's kid. Um, and you know that they're safe, that once we get on that land that they're safe. And, and I think that there's a way that she sheds fear and we shed fear. Um, and I think, you know, that gift that she gets, even those seven days of not having to worry or not having us hover so that she can feel freer is, is a huge blessing. Well, I didn't do camp as a kid, so I am doing camp as an adult. And I'm one of those campers that doesn't rest for a minute. So I get up and as soon as I drop the kid off, I'm headed for carpentry or, you know, um, silk painting or, you know, we always do family tie-dye. There are two big dances, so we're always at the dance, and um, all of us. And my kid is very into dress-up, and she's gotten more into dress-up going to camp because they have big boxes of costumes. So, um, and we have gone into town to the thrift store, and so she generally looks like she's at some prom night thing. Um, you know, it's seven going on 17. My partner can sometimes be serious, but there's this way that her playful side comes out at camp. So that very relaxed, easygoing, funny person comes out. So it's, you know, it's that you get to fall in love again kind of thing. It's like, oh, I like you.